do think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine. Even if you Ellie Bailey. Mm. Mm mm mm. Mm 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 mm. Oh, that's, I didn't want to click on that. Halle Bailey. All right. Um, so Halle Bailey, as you all know, is going to be playing the Little Mermaid in the new Little Mermaid movie. She's going to be playing Ariel. And, of course, she's been asked about some of the, um, the quote-unquote racist backlash that she's been getting. And I wanted to, you know, talk about it. Halle Bailey opens up about the Little Mermaid racist backlash as a black person you just expected. Got something in my eye hole. Um, the actress and singer front uh, fronts the new issue of The Face and talks about stepping into the suit to play the iconic Disney role and the advice she received from her mentor, Beyonce. Don't ever read the comments. Um... It seems that every time news breaks out about Haley Bailey playing Ariel in the Disney remakes of The Little Little Mermaid, whether it was the initial casting news or the teaser debut, it goes viral. That hasn't always been a good thing, as some of the churn has fueled by racist backlash. Something Bailey says is not a surprise. As a black person, you just expect it, and it's not really a shock anymore. Bailey says in a new cover story for The Face, I know people are like, it's not about the race, but now I'm now that I'm her, people don't understand that when you're black, there's this whole other community. It's so important for us to see ourselves. It's so important for us to see ourselves. Then make your own shit. It's so important for you to see ourselves. Then make your own shit. Tell your own goddamn story. Oh, but Ariel's a fictional character. Then make your own goddamn mermaid. Why do you feel the need to hijack other people's shit to see yourself? What are you talking about? This shit makes no goddamn sense. You, you, you have not an original bone in your goddamn body. You can't go out and write your own shit. Write your own shit, Haley Bailey. Hallie Bailey, whatever your goddamn name is, write your own shit. It's just that goddamn simple. You want to see yourself so goddamn bad? Write something that isn't power. Write something that isn't a, a BMF. Write something that isn't a goddamn Tyler Perry movie. Right, man, bro, write your own shit. But when you take shit from other cultures that they created and try to replace them yes there's going to be backlash nigga there's going to be backlash now I do agree with the um I do agree with the advice that she was given don't read the comments don't read like even even on my channel and I'm not I'll never deny that there's racism right even on my channel like, y'all know over here, we're pretty based. You know what I'm saying? We don't live our life through the color of our skin over here. But it do be some racist-ass comments. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Um, i give you a, a perfect example. On the, on the reaction video I did to the South Park uh, Wheel of Fortune episode, you know, the N-word, right? Somebody replied and was like, um both are true because remember the episode says naggers but he thought it was you know the n-word and the person in the comments was saying oh it's naggers and the n-word so he was basically saying people who annoy you he was basically saying black people and naggers or people who annoy you i read the comment and i was like well sheesh you know what i'm saying i didn't get offended because it's like you know people gonna think what they think Racism isn't going anywhere. I don't know what y'all thought, but racism is not going anywhere. There's always going to be people who are, who are racist of all skin colors. Newsflash, niggas. There's a lot of Hispanic people that don't like you niggas either. Part of the reason is because you play the victimhood complex so bad, it turns people off. Make your own stuff. 
you don't want to see this backlash make your own shit what you'll find is that your own people won't even support the stuff that you put out so you feel the need to go and hijack other people's shit because it already has an installed fan base if if black people make their own little mermaid niggas ain't gonna go and watch it because the truth is black people act as though they can't live without white people so if white people don't approve of something, black people ain't going ain't gonna go and see it. That's why whenever a black person tries to come out with a clothing line or something like that, they try to sell it. Black folks be like, I don't know, bro, you charging eighty dollars for a shirt, but you know the, the work they put in for that shirt is worth that eighty dollars. But uh, but you ain't Polo, you ain't you ain't Amiri, you ain't this, that, and the third. And it's like, so wait, so you're going to pay money to to yo the people that you claim oppresses you? Because they got an established name, but you won't spend money on a shirt that you obviously like that your homeboy or your homegirl made. You can't live without, you can't even operate without white people. That's why you always want to steal their shit. Rant over, man. Let's move on to the next topic. Beat that thing down like you started a tension, my baby. You had some plans with your man, just tell him to cancel, my baby. Slide to the crib, like Dracula's mansion, my baby.